Welcome to part 16. We have just gotten the last pearl and the King of Red Lions has marked the locations of where to put the pearls. But we're not going to do that until the end of this video. First, I'm going to finish charting the rest of uh, the Great Sea. And like before, I will only uh, stop at locations that are of um, great interest at the moment. So um, this shouldn't take too long. All right, with that, let's uh, get started, shall we? Two-Eyed Reef in Quadrant D7. The only reason I'm stopping here besides getting the chart is to locate a big octo. You know, why know why? Well, the fishman's information will reveal all. <clears throat> I tell you, lately no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy that bestows magic power. She used to live here, Fry. All anyone ever sees anymore are the big octos that have been approaching lately. Maybe they scared her off. Oh no, I sure hope they didn't eat her. And yeah, that's precisely what this big octo did. And once again, we're gonna have to kill it. And once we kill it, we will free the great fairy and she will uh, bestow some magical power upon Link. And this one has the shortest amount of eyes uh, present, so... Uh, this one shouldn't take too long. In fact, it's dead. Die, Calamari! Die! Come on. And this death sequence takes too long. And we have the Great Fairy! So, how can a Great Fairy live out here with without the comfort of a fairy fountain. I, I want to know how that works. Uh, it doesn't matter because we are about to get one of the greatest upgrades of the entire game. I'm not joking. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this shtick before. And just like that, Link gets double the magic. Yeah, this is where we get our double magic meter of this game, so it'd be a good idea to stop by this place uh, before continuing onward, so uh, yeah. The Angular Isles of Quadrant E7. Two reasons I'm stopping here. One, I'm going to fish out a heart piece from a treasure chart, and two, I'm actually going to climb on the big island, and I'm going to get to the top to get yet another heart piece. So while I do that, I will tell you what the Fishman says in this quadrant and some real facts about uh, these islands. <clears throat> Northeast up here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard, you heard of it, small fry? It emits bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly, it's as beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you best have a ball to keep it in, and which is stuff I pretty much have already done. So, um, yeah, that's pretty worthless. Anyway, here's some uh, facts about uh, this island right here that I've read online, and basically, and actually, these uh, facts here are come from uh, the Nintendo figurines that um, Car, Car, what's his face does it at Forest Haven. So uh, yeah. So I'll go ahead and explain uh, what the purpose of this island uh, is. Well, apparently, according to the figurines, the Salvage Court, you know, those guys wearing uh, diving helmets uh, who wear Speedos, yeah, they started their organization here. And this place is also the birthplace of all of the great fairies. Uh, yeah. That's what the information says, so... Um, uh, you can believe it or not, folks. I'm just reading this off some wikis. So anyway, as I am, as I, uh, I'm pretty much uh, manipulating the blocks here so that I can get to the top to get the heart piece. And also at the top of the big uh, angular aisle is a uh, another blue choo-choo. That is, if you want to go ahead and kill it, so you can take it a choo-choo jelly. But I'm not going. Well, I'm going to kill and take the jelly, but uh, it's only because it'll be in my way as I get the heart piece. All right. And there's a smaller island, uh, and um, 
I mean, there's it's a hidden hole, and all you have to do to get down there is uh, either use the Deku Leaf in the wind, or something that we will get later on, and I will explain that island uh, at a later time. Five Star Isle of Quadrant G7, the second to last area that we need to chart. The only reason I'm uh, stopping by here is to uh, get a heart piece from the sea and be careful there are uh, bird enemies perched on top of these rocks and they can come down and bug you. But thankfully they uh, didn't do it to me in uh, this playthrough. And after I get this heart piece I make my way back towards Rock Spire Island and a Beetle Special Shop. But I make a stop or so along the way and uh, yeah, I'll, actually, I'm going to show that uh, in just a second. So, I made a quick trip back to Forest Haven on the way and for something that I couldn't get until now because, well, now I have uh, double the magic. But first, when you get to the first p wiggling post box after leaving Outset Island, there will be a letter from Grandma telling you how are you doing, Sonny, and are you doing alright, and uh, you're doing alright, Sonny, keep warm, and here's some money. Yeah, she's going to give you some money, uh, pretty much uh, 20 rupees, and this is only if you heal Grandma um, upon your return visit, so yeah. The real reason I came back is so I can explore the last island in this quadrant. You know, the one that is not the uh, Forbidden Woods and the one that's not the Nintendo Gallery. Yeah, apparently uh, what you have to do here is go to the highest uh, point of uh, the main island, set the wind in a southward direction, and then just use your Deku Fleet to uh, glide over. And, um, I admit I've tried to get to this island before, but I only had help, half the uh, magical energy I have now, so I failed spectacularly. Anyway, on this small island right here, it's a treasure chest that contains another treasure chart, so yeah. And even with, uh, double the magic power, you can screw up. You can overshoot the island, you can just fall short of the island. So yeah, even with uh, the magical upgrade, um, you can still fail. But thankfully, I got this on my first try after getting double the magic, so uh, it's beneficial to get the upgrades. So yeah. I did some off-screen rupee grinding, and I managed to get enough rupees to buy both the heart piece and the treasure chart. Now, um, this uh, whole five days until we close thing that Beetle says, um, it, don't be afraid. It's merely a scare tactic to motivate you into uh, acquiring more rupees so you can buy the heart piece and the treasure chart. He, it won't close as long as those items remain. So, uh, no worries. And, yeah. The, that treasure chart that we just bought, it will lead me to another heart piece uh, eventually, but I'm not going to open it right now because, well, I'm getting to the point where I'm ready to move on to the next portion of the game, but I made uh, one more stop beforehand. Since I was in the neighborhood, I decided to go ahead and explore a Rock Spire Isle. And the way to do it, there are boulders blocking um, your path, and unfortunately there is no um, land. You have to destroy the boulders because that's the only way to move on. So uh, what you have to do is use bombs and time it so that they explode just as they come in contact with the boulders. So uh, yeah, that's the only way to make it across to the uh, big piece of land on the other side. And while I'm doing that, um, I will go ahead and read the fishman information. <clears throat> I wonder how long it's been since the light at, in, Windfall, in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold throughout the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Jillian. Anyway... I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it would light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. And then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition, small fry. So, that this fishman had a relationship with someone named Jillian? Is it another fish? Is it a human? Is it something else? I don't want to know. 
Anyway, you'll also find another blue choo-choo if you want. And um, again, because this one was in my way, I killed it and I went ahead and grabbed its uh, blue jelly. Anyway, afterwards, go down this hole and, well, after I toss rocks for some reason. Because I was hoping to get a um, heart container, well, a uh, heart to help heal me, but, oh well, the game was being cruel. So anyway, down this hole, we are going to find two lit torches, two unlit torches, and a base full of boco sticks. So, we, we can put two and two together. Now, usually inside these hidden holes, there are um, surprises, uh, but uh, it, it looks fairly routine. I mean, assuming after I put the, after I light these uh, two tor torches, the treasure ch chest will appear as per Zelda tradition. And I knew it. I knew there was a catch. Yeah, folks, by lighting these two torches, Swarms of keys will appear, and we have to kill every single one of them. And then, only then, we will get the treasure chest. And this one will contain a treasure chart. And of course, um, keys and again, they're they they are more they are more annoying than dangerous because. As you kill them, you can replenish hearts if you take damage, so, um... Yeah, anyway... Uh, and with that, we get the treasure chest, and we get the treasure chart. Uh, okay, la 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 la, I know, I know, get the glowing balls of spoils or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We just go get our stuff, and uh, yeah, this treasure chart will either lead me to Silver Rupee or a Heart Piece. I kind of forgot which is which. In fact, um, at this point, um, well, who cares? Now it's time to actually move on with the game. <gasps> really? Yes, really. The time has come. First stop, Northern Triangle Island in Quadrant D3. Now, um, you want to be careful in this area because, first of all, there are sea octoroks that will shoot bombs at you. And you see that uh, tornado in the water? Well, uh, that is one of Cyclos' cyclones. And if you get caught up in that uh, cyclone, you will be sent to a different location um, throughout the Great Sea at random. And that would suck. Anyway, the fishman information here, it's kind of worthless at this point, but I will go ahead and read it. <clears throat> the school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. But the thing is, this gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Yeah, it's kind of pointless because I have already solved that problem early on and got a heart piece for it. And the fishman likes uh, Mrs. Marie. Okay. Yeah, anyway. As you saw here, um, the um, pretty much the, the Octorok damaged me. And I'm trying to find a heart before I uh, place the pearl on the statue. And to do so, all you have to do is get up to the pearl, uh, up to the statue. And a cutscene will automatically trigger. And uh, you will place the uh, pearl on the hand. In this case... This one is Din's Pearl. And uh, this statue is smiling. I like that. It's all like, yay! Woohoo! Yeah. And with that, one pearl down, two pearls remain. And so, yeah, let's go on to our next destination Eastern Triangle Island in Quadrant F4. I've actually passed this island a number of times already, and I have actually charted it on my way to Forest Haven for the first time. So I don't need to uh, repeat the information. And yeah, also um, be careful. There are there are sea octoroks in this territory as well. And um, the the order I am placing these pearls, you don't have to do it in this exact order. You can. Go to um, this place first, and uh, North Triangle Isle next, uh, and so on and so forth. 
but it's just a coincidence that I am placing the pearls in the statues in the exact order I acquire them. Yeah, this one is Feore's uh, statue, and um, I just find that pure co coincidental, honestly. So, um, anyway, once we uh, get onto the same level as the statue, the same cutscene will occur, and we will place Feore's pearl on the statue's hand. And this statue looks different. Essentially, it has no mouth and has big old pointed ears. Okie dokie. Um, and then, of course, uh, blah blah blah, place the pearl, which means there's only one more pearl to deposit. And we are one step closer to figuring out what, what happens when we place all the pearls on the, the statue. So, uh, with that, let's move on to our last destination. Southern Triangle Island, Quadrant D5. Be careful, there are sea hats in the area, and they are very, very annoying. My advice, just make a beeline straight for the island. Do not stop till you get there. Anyway, the fisherman information. A famed photographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of photography. He's even said to have a legendary photograph that he treasures above all other things. He keeps it hidden away in a safe, or so they say. Anyway, here we are. Time to deposit the final pearl. And this one pretty much has a crooked mouth. Hmm. That's odd. And thus, we did it. We have placed all three pearls onto all three statues. So, um, yeah, what's going to happen next? What's this uh, mystery? Well... Apparently, the statue is starting to glow, really glowing, and smart thing, Link, run away from the glowy thing. And, um, Link, you're going to lose points here because um, you have not heard of something called delayed reaction. See? That's what you get. And there he goes, flying off to the sea yet again. And now we get to see what uh, Naru's statue really looks like. And it starts a chain reaction which uh, pretty, much, pretty much hits the other two statues. And so they'll go beam across the great sea. And when all three connect, that's when the door doorway will open. Oh, and there's a familiar sight, the good old Triforce. Come on, what's happening? And apparently out from the great sea, a great tower rises. And how big this how big is this tower? Well, it's pretty massive. And uh, there's a familiar sight. But thankfully uh, LinkedIn loses sword this time. I mean, <laughs> that would suck. I mean, imagine going underwater. To get a sword. Ha! So, yeah. Big, massive tower is big. Big. So, uh, yeah. Well, folks. This is it. This is what the pearls have uh, showed us. This is our way to our next uh, area. <sighs> so, yeah. This is uh, pretty much our next dungeon. And, um... Before we get to it, now that there's something in the missing quadrant, you know, the one that I left blank, I believe uh, the time has come for us to find the final fish man and get the chart of this quadrant. You know, we've come a long way, folks. I mean, we've really come a long way in, in terms of charting, that is. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much a... Uh, I'm getting teary-eyed. Yeah, that, that means this is the end of charting. <laughs> All right. I gotta find him first, that. So, bear with me. I finally found the last fish man behind this massive tower. And, well, folks, this is it. This is the last time that I will show you this scene. I mean, I've come such a long way. I mean, from the from the first time in Dragon Roost Cavern, or Dragon Roost Island. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> look at me, I'm just tossing my bait. 
I'll have him eat the bait and have him chart my this location. <laughs> But part of me is glad that um, all of the Great Sea has been charted, and it'll save me a lot of time later on. Alright, folks, and with that, he will chart the Tower of the Gods. And with that, we now have a completed uh, sea chart. Every island is marked, and wow. I can't believe it. We actually did it. We actually charted the whole thing before our next dungeon, which is Tower of the Gods. And yeah, so Tower of the Gods is uh, pretty much uh, our next destination. I And of course, this guy's saying that uh, Tingle is important. And it's like, it's like the game telling you that, remember Tingle, he's very important, especially later on in this game. And believe me, I wish he wasn't this important. So yeah, so let's go inside the Tower of the Gods, let's uh, face this uh, test that we need to pass, and um, yeah. Now before I end this video, I want to share something with you. Remember in Tetra's room, we saw a sea chart that had a drawing of a Triforce. Well, this is pretty much what the sea chart looks like if it had a Triforce drawn over it. And look at its points. Dragon Roost, Forest Haven, and Greyfish Isle. And if you notice that inside the big triangle, the smaller triangle, its points contain Northern, Tri Northern Triangle Island, Eastern Triangle Island, and... Southern Triangle Island and in the middle of this uh, Triforce uh, picture is uh, the Tower of the Gods and I think that's incredible it's that's amazing and of course um, each point of the big triangle you know the one that's actually connected to the islands and stuff um, it's pretty much a representation of uh, which uh, Triforce piece belongs to which god goddess of course, uh, Din is associated with the Triforce of Power, which is the very top piece of the entire Triforce. And essentially, we got her pearl at Dragon Roost Island. And of course, the same can be said with Feore, who's the bottom right piece. And we got her pearl there. And she's associated with the Triforce of Courage. And. The original location of Naru's Pearl is was at Great Fish, and um, of course she is a she is associated with the Triforce of Wisdom, and that is awesome. And uh, speaking of the goddesses, um, I'm showing you uh, right here the pictures of the goddess statues in full form because depending on uh, which order you place the pearls is. Um, well, you're only going to get one of them in close-up detail. You're, you're just going to see the other two from far away, and that kind of stinks. Anyway, folks, I will see you in Part 17, where we will begin the Tower of the Gods.